Today, the State Board of Education meets to talk about a big topic that will affect all public schools in the state, a change of how schools actually get accredited. Here's Superintendent Ryan Walters talking to News 9 ahead of today's big meeting. Parents are frustrated. Our communities are frustrated. And so what we've got to do is we've got to take a different approach. The status quo has not worked. News 9's Tevis Hill is live in the newsroom with more on Walter's plan for Oklahoma public schools. Tevis? Robin Lacey, we've talked a lot about school accreditation in the last few years. First, as state education officials put Western Heights here in the metro under state control due to issues with its accreditation, those issues have since been resolved and the district is back under local control. Then this year, as State Superintendent Ryan Walters led a push to downgrade Tulsa Public Schools accreditation due to issues with test scores and reported financial issues that have led to criminal charges. Now Walters tells News 9 he's looking to revamp the accreditation process to hold all public schools accountable for kids struggling academically. Every school that's found with a deficiency for academics will get much more involvement from the State Department. That's resources, that's personnel, that's training programs. Walters says, for example, a school that performs less than 50% basic in math, they'll be deficient. That means if the state's plan goes into effect, those schools would see stricter scrutiny from education officials and resources to boost scores. You set measurements and you talk through with districts on how to meet those measurements and if they fall short you hold them accountable and you also give them ways to be successful. Now today's accreditation discussion is just part of a process. What happens next is a 60-day process where anyone can comment on the proposal. Those comments are generally submitted on the state's website. Then the State Board of Education, they'll vote, followed by votes of the Oklahoma House and Oklahoma Senate. It all starts today's meeting. That's again at 9.30 this morning. Our Capitol reporter, Haley Wager, will be there. Look for her coverage all day on News 9 and News9.com. Live in the newsroom this morning, Tavis Hillis, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.